Ditto sounds a lot like boo. Like the really high-pitched meow. I'm pretty sure it came from Ditto. Yeah, did you, did you hear that? Look at this. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Are you a good boy, Boo? It is about 7.10 a.m. And I've been up for a while. I've just been relaxing. And Splash and Simba have been running around the house like a herd of elephants. And, you know, Splash is becoming an instigator. You know, either he's terrorizing Boo or Simba. I don't know what's going on with him. Boo slept on the cat tower the um, majority of the night, and then he jumped on the bed this morning. And Simba slept on the bed all night. And Stella has been sleeping in a different cat tower. And I'm wondering if Splash's behavior is like manifesting from the fact that, you know, all the other cats like being around me. Like if I'm in the bedroom, all the cats come into the bedroom. If I'm in the living room, the cats come into the living room. And because Splash is still intimidated, you know, maybe that's causing issues with him. Um, that's just speculation. I do need to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with Splash to try to, you know, get him over his issues. The problem with Splash is I feel like whenever progress is made, like a day or two later, he just totally forgets about it. So, you know, like, I don't know if there's some kind of mental thing going on with him. Um, I don't know if he has memory issues. But it's weird because normally, you know, cats will, cats will make nice progressions. And I feel like Splash doesn't make the same kind of progressions like you'll think he's making a progression and then like a day later you're back to no progress at all so I don't know what's going on with Splash Splash has been living in this house for almost three years and yesterday he was growling and hissing at me like I was a total stranger. I mean, it was just weird. Boo's a very happy boy right now. It's about 7.45 right now, and I want to document what just happened here. So Splash was here. He was resting. And this is the second day in a row that he's been resting here in the morning. And it's the second day in a row that I was able to walk up to him and start petting him. He was actually calmer today than yesterday. Yesterday, I was able to pet him for a little bit, but he freaked out and ran. Today... I was able to pet him for a little bit and I was able to rub his tummy, which is really great for Splash. And he did not seem as freaked out as yesterday, but of course after like a minute, then he decided he needed to exit. Um, but I just wanted to document that, um, yeah, it was really surprising to me uh, that he let me pet him so much. Maybe he heard what I was telling you. Good morning, Hydrox. It's 8.32 a.m. I opened the back door, Hydrox showed up, so I just gave him two scoops of homemade raw food with uh, water mixed in. I'm running low on chicken broth.
It's okay, Hydrox. I have no zoom on this camera right now. Today for breakfast, the cats are having three scoops of homemade raw food and one of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. I mix them all together with some water. And then on top, they are having some dried tuna flakes, which have been crushed up. And they're also having a sprinkling of crunchies. Hopefully Boo will eat it. Simba's already almost done. Splash is eating here. Um, because sometimes he bothers the other cats. Boo said he would prefer to eat on the step. He likes eating by himself sometimes. I think Boo likes the extra attention. I think he also feels that his food is safer here because he doesn't eat it as fast. It's farther away from everyone else who might try to eat it on him. And Simba is all done. Stella is almost done. And Splash is done. So Stella is eating what's left from her plate, Simba's plate, and Splash's plate. So she hangs out here until those three plates are pretty much done. And then what I do is I scrape them down onto one plate and then she finishes whatever's left. So today it was just a little tiny bit of raw food and then like three crunchies. Good girl, Stella. One thing I do notice is that when the door at the top of the steps is open, Boo gets distracted and he doesn't focus on his food as much. And right now I hear Hydrox meowing outside, so he might want more food. I'll have to open a can for him. I thought these two jars were the last of the homemade baby food and the chicken broth, but I was wrong because I just dug around in the freezer and I actually found the last chicken broth and baby food. So it really made quite a lot of chicken broth and baby food for the cats. So I'm gonna leave these two out to defrost today. And then these I'm actually gonna to give to Hydrox for breakfast along with some herbs. I'm gonna see if I could give him some anti-parasite herbs and see how that goes with him. So this is what Hydrox is getting. He's getting the homemade baby food, which is basically just chicken pureed with chicken broth. He's getting additional chicken broth added because it kind of uh, was all absorbed into the chicken as it was in the freezer, so it got really dry. I'm also adding a few drops of parasite herbs, and then there's like a bone meal nutrient mixture um, that I'm adding to make it a more complete meal for him. Let's see if he eats it. I just came inside and Hydrax went right back to eating his food. I'm sorry if the focus is off, but he should eat that. It's 9.03 a.m. I'm running extremely late today, and Hydrox is eating his third breakfast. This time he's having half of a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets, and that's it, I'm not giving him any more food. And Boo, he's been hanging out with me, and I think it's really odd because normally he eats and then he goes and relaxes. So I was like, what's going on, Boo? Why are you hanging out here? And he reminded me that he did not get his herbs this morning. So I have him on some general healing herbs right now. And I just gave him a little bit of the canned food that I gave to Hydrox. I gave him like a little tiny spoonful and with his three drops of herbs on it. So now he's done completely. It's about 5.30 p.m. and I just read something about celery leaves being like catnip for cats. That um, supposedly cats are supposed to enjoy celery leaves like catnip. Um, now, the only celery I have uh, are celery hearts from Trader Joe's. And the reason why this looks very light green, almost yellowish, is because it was in the middle of the celery hearts. So, um, are they going to like it? So far, they don't really care about it. Is Simba going to try it? Still going to try it? Stella is the connoisseur. If anyone tried it, I think she would. 
She likes food. You want to eat it? You want it? Yeah, there's a leaf. You don't like it? <laughs> Pooh, you want them? Who says he don't want any? Somebody, you want some? You want to try it? Here, went on the floor. You don't want it either? Okay. Nobody wants the celery. So yesterday I moved this litter box away from the corner. It's just in the middle of this wall. And everyone, except for Stella, has been using it in this location. So I think it's a better location. Simba's used it several times over the past 24 hours. So has Splash. Um, I think Boo has, I'm not sure. But I know the other two have. And... Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm giving Hydrox three scoops of homemade raw food with water mixed in and he's getting some anti-parasite herbs. Hello, Hydrox. Go eat your food. There he goes. I actually mixed in chicken broth instead of water. He should come back and eat it. Today for dinner, the cats are trying this Pure Harmony cat food. I found this in a local supermarket and I want to say it was 89 cents a can. And this is turkey and salmon recipe cat food. They had three different varieties. It says real turkey is the first ingredient. No corn, wheat, or soy. No animal byproduct meal. No artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. This is pate and this is a 5.5 ounce can. And if we look at the ingredients, they are turkey, turkey broth, liver, potatoes, and salmon. Those are the first five ingredients. I like those ingredients. Followed by peas, carrots, dried egg product, brewer's rice, barley, guar gum, flaxseed meal, um, and then potassium chloride, carrageenan, dried cranberries, dried blueberries, apples, taurine, dried chicory root, Yucca shitagira extract, dried kelp, salt, dried parsley, and then we go into vitamin and mineral supplements. So those are the ingredients. So this is what the cats are getting for dinner. This is their fishy food, and uh, we'll see if they like it. Hydrox went back to eat his food, and look, he's almost done. In the time it took me to tell you about the canned food, he practically ate all of his food. That's a lot. That's three scoops. That's what three inside cats get. But he's looking very good today. So that's good. This is what the food looks like. You can see it's kind of pulled away from the sides of the can. I've never seen a food um, that really pulled away so much. But um, I'm going to dump this out, mix it up with some of the homemade chicken broth, and then give it to the cats. Okay, I just gave the cats the canned cat food. And Boo should enjoy it, and Stella's enjoying it. And I don't know what Splash is doing. He's running upstairs. And where's Simba? Simba! Eat your food, Simba. You like it, it's fish. Yep, sometimes Simba likes to eat on his own. Okay, so Stella and Boo just got in a little swatting fight over the food. I guess Stella wanted to finish her plate, but it was pushed too far over toward Boo, and they were a little too close for comfort. Now, the swatting fight was actually kind of funny because they didn't get within like a foot of each other. Like they were swatting at each other from across this flatter. And Boo just goes right back to eating. This is Simba's food. He basically tasted it, pushed it around, and then decided 
he's going to go upstairs and he's not going to eat it. And I am not going to let Stella finish the food, so I'm going to pick this up and put it aside for Simba. But Stella really likes the food, and obviously Boo really likes it also. You want to lick your plate clean? Okay, Stella, that's it. I just gave Hydrox um, almost half of a can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. I mixed some of the homemade chicken broth in because Hydrox really likes it. So this is a lot of food. He ate a lot of the raw food and this is a lot of food too. He'll come back. I'll go inside. The minute I back away and go inside, he goes straight back to his food. So he's still really skittish. It is 8.10 a.m. And I was just watching Boo. He was in the hallway and it looked like he was playing with the cat. Like he was in playing position. He was like responding to something. And I was like, who's he playing with? Because it looked like Boo was in the hall and another cat was in his room. So I was watching like from the end of the hall and I was just like, what's going on here? Is he playing with Simba? Is he playing with Splash? Like who's he playing with? And then all of a sudden he just jumps up and runs down the hall, runs through the room, and to the top of the cat tower. And I was like, oh, okay, that's really weird. So I walked over to where he was, expecting to see a cat just inside the door of his room, and no, no one was there, like nothing was there. So I honestly feel like I just witnessed Boo playing with a ghost cat. Like if you would have seen what Boo was doing and the way he was playing and responding to something you would feel the same exact way it is 8 51 a.m hello hi Jax. i have breakfast for you so today we're having three scoops of homemade raw food with chicken broth i warmed it up and some parasite drops and i am so close to hydrox right now i'm a foot away from him there's no zoom on this camera, and he's eating. That's great. Let's see if I can leave the camera here. to take the camera away because he was literally right up next to it and I did not want to get any raw food on it or in it. It's very temperamental and it stops working. So yeah, look, Hydrox ate his food. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting homemade raw food with some warmed up homemade chicken broth mixed in. There is some shredded chicken on top. It was the frozen baby food. It kind of absorbs all of the liquid and then just turns it into more of like chicken. And then there's a sprinkling of crunchies. It's 9.30 a.m. and I was sitting at the kitchen table editing a video and I looked and I saw Splash and Simba kind of doing what I saw Boo doing before. It's like they were playing with another cat, but I didn't see the other cat. It's just really weird. Right now it is 6.30 p.m. and 
We're doing a live stream today, but there are no cats on the live stream. There's no cats on the day bed. So I'm gonna give them dinner instead. Today I made a batch of homemade raw food. It's about half the size of the last batch that I made, so I'm hoping it lasts about two weeks. I changed up the recipe a little bit. Um, so we have some chicken thighs, some chicken drumsticks, and also some turkey breast. And then um, the supplements are pretty much the same. I did not add any salmon oil. Um, I did not add any additional taurine because raw meat has plenty of taurine. Um, I added one capsule of nettle, um, which is a cleansing herb. I just wanted to add a little tiny bit and see how that goes. And I added two capsules of cranberry. And other than that, oh, and I cut back on the amount of kelp. I only did a few pinches of kelp. And I just want to see how they like it. Do they like it better or not so much? So this is what the cats did. They ate most of their food. Simba left some on his plate, which Stella finished. But Simba had a whole bunch of dried sardines not very long ago. I tried to bribe him onto the live stream. So he might not be hungry because he ate quite a bit. So for some reason, Boo did not want to finish his food. I don't know if he didn't like it or or if I didn't put any baby food on it or what. I did put a few crunchies on it for him, but he still didn't even eat it. Then Simba tried to finish it, so I'm just gonna put this up in Boo's room. Maybe he'll eat it there. Hello, hi, Jax. How are you? you? Want some dinner? Come here. I just gave Hydrox three scoops of the new homemade raw food with water mixed in. I should have put chicken broth because I actually have a little bit left, but I'm just trying to get a lot of things done right now, so I wasn't thinking, but three scoops of the new food. Hopefully he'll like it. Hopefully he'll eat it. Look who just showed up. It's Ditto. At least I think it's Ditto. I'm pretty sure it's Ditto. How you doing, Ditto? So there's Hydrox's food. I don't know if Hydrox left or he's gonna eat it, but Ditto might go eat it, so hopefully there's no fight. I haven't seen Ditto in quite a while. I don't know where he's been. He hasn't been hanging out with the orange cat. I've been seeing the orange cat by his or herself, so. So what happened was I was in the kitchen and Boo alerted me to the fact that Ditto was outside because he started staring intently out the door and I was like, oh, what's he looking at? Well, he's looking at Ditto. And Ditto said that she wants her own plate of food. Okay, Ditto, I'll give you some canned food, okay? Okay, so Hydrox just came back to eat his food. And I don't know if you had just heard Ditto, but Ditto sounds a lot like Boo. Like the really high-pitched meow. I'm pretty sure it came from Ditto. Yeah, did you, did you hear that? Look at this. Hey Ditto, you look, you uh, you sound just like Boo. So this is what I'm giving to Ditto. This is the homemade baby food. Um, it's really chunky, and I added like the powdered supplements to it. So she should eat it. looking around for Hydrox, that's what's going on. So Hydrox finished all this food. He really likes the new food. And there goes Ditto. It's 7, 12 p.m. And Boo has been staring out the door very intently. It looks like he's ready to start a fight with someone. I don't know what's going on. It is 10.30 p.m. We just ended today's live stream and I wanted to do some shout outs. Um, I want to give a shout out to Eva Lash who donated $20 through Super Chat just cuz. Thank you so much, Eva Lash. Um, I want to give a shout out to Durfo20 who donated $20 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Durfo. Uh, shout out to Tim Smith who donated $10 towards Boo's Wellness. Thank you so much, Tim. Uh, shout out to Smarty Plum, who donated five pounds through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Smarty Plum. 
I want to give a shout out to Crypto Mikey Michigan who donated $4.99 through Super Chat. He says, I want crunchies and all the cats are waiting for crunchies right now. And I want to give a shout out to Tracy Yoshida who donated $2 through Super Chat. She says, happy catter day, boo. Boo says, happy catter day right back to you, Tracy. And she also donated another $2 through Super Chat and she says, hi, boo. And Boo says hi right back. Thank you guys so much for watching today's live stream and for your participation. Look how nice Boo sits. Boo says he's ready. And that's Splash. Splash says he's ready. You ready, Boo? You want some food? So the cats are splitting a pouch of a turkey and vegetable stew. It's cat food. You guys ready? You ready? Boo, you ready? Boo was making so much noise just a little while ago. Oh, there he goes. Okay, Boo. Okay, so Boo's eating his food. Simba's thinking about eating his food. Stella says, those are not crunchies. And Splash says, those are not crunchies. I had to put some crunchies on their plates and now they're eating. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.